Once cooked, soups are healthy, nutritious, one-pot meal on the go that you can have at any time. I bought a whole snapper, a whole fish, and once cut, I had some pieces, like this one, that I could not really use for dinner. And I had just one little steak left. And the best thing to actually do with the bones, as you can see, I can even have a part of the head, and not to throw them away, I guess you paid for the whole fish anyway, right? So you may as well utilize the whole thing. So I decided I'm going to make a fish stock. And out of the stock, of course, I'm going to make a delicious soup. Well, you probably shouldn't be cutting it like that with a sharp knife. But one time, it's okay. And I'm going to put all, besides the steaks, I'm going to put all the pieces of fish in this cloth because they're going to have uh, most of it is tiny little bones that you do not want to have in the soup and it's going to be really hard to retrieve them after. Normally with um, chicken bones I would not do that but this one you know you, you just don't want to take a risk. And I included also uh, bay leaves since they're not going to be easy to uh, to retrieve either and just tie them all up and put it in a large pot. With the amount of water you're gonna use, it, it's just up to you how much liquid you want. Of course, the less water, the more ingredients, it's gonna be more dense, more rich soup. So it's up to you how you like. I think I have here a couple of gallons of water, uh, probably a gallon and a half at the most. And this is gonna be all my all vegetables for this one. And that's parsley leaves and cilantro leaves uh, leeks if you don't have a leek you can add an onion that's um, celery stalks I cut them up garlic and red bell pepper just one season with salt and pepper And that's pretty much it. it. The rest, it's just going to be the time it takes for the flavors to, to form. And cook it on a very, very low heat. That's very important. You don't want it to be um, boiling too much. And that's probably about 30 minutes in. And if you have any scum, just take it out. I, I just didn't have that much at all. It's not boiling really, it's just like a little roll underneath, very subtle. And that's how you want it. And you already see that the, the flavors are starting to form. And this is probably about an hour and a half, two hours in. And I'm going to add this point, when I already have the vegetables a little bit softened, I'm going to add sarmazano tomatoes. A half of a can, about 14 ounces. The whole can has 28 ounces. And to that I'm gonna add my spices. And that's sweet paprika, one tablespoon for this amount of stock. You can also adjust the flavors later. And ground cloves, half a teaspoon. And a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is just to add a little bit bite and spice. If, if you don't like it, you can skip it. Or if you like it uh, more spice, you can add more. And that's a half a teaspoon of saffron. And all that I'm going to add now to my stock. And cook for longer. How long you're going to cook it, it's completely up to you. I prefer to cook it as long as possible and not to get um, the liquid because the, the look longer you cook, the liquid's going to reduce. So I want to make sure I don't have um, too much of a reduction, but at the same time, I really want this to be slowly on a very low heat cooking. And now pretty much the, the process is done. So I'm going to add the fish back to it and cook for another 30 minutes. I didn't do it earlier because I don't want the fish to completely fall apart. I want to have a little bit of fish in my plate 
to add to protein pretty much to the soup. Uh, and I left the soup in the fridge overnight. Uh, that uh, corn disregard, I just dump it because I had it and I think it's going to add a little bit of sweetness. It's all completely optional. And you can see how thick the stack is. That's all the collagen out of the fish bones, which is really good for you and also great taste. Adds a lot of flavor to the soup. So right now I'm going to remove all the fish. And this is the process where I'm going to blend the rest. When you blend all the vegetables, they actually add the thickness to the soup. It tastes great, it tastes creamy, but you didn't add any cream, actual cream to it. So now I'm going to heat it up and add more sweetness to it in the form of butternut squash. That's one of my favorite ways to add more texture and more sweetness with very few calories. And also, as you can see, I have kale. I kale also adds a lot of nutrients and I actually like extra texture to it. And we're going to remove all the inside uh, from the butternut squash, cut it up in small pieces so it cooks pretty fast. And this process takes very quickly. Pretty much the butternut squash would take only 30 minutes at the most, 15 sometimes to 30 minutes to completely get soft. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the butternut squash to get softer, I'm gonna separate the fish meat from the bones and the skin. So we can add the fish um, at the end of the soup. And that's fish, has, and especially snapper, is very lean. It has a lot of protein, which is obviously great for you to feel full. So I'm going to weigh how much fish I have. And it's about a pound and seven ounces after it cooked. Not too bad at all. And as you can see, the butternut squash is completely cooked. And oh, my corn right there as well. And now I'm going to add the kale. And kale takes also about 30 minutes to, to get softened. The fish, see how much soup we have. We have probably soup for about a week. Well, if I eat it by myself, but if I share it with my family, it's probably three dinners. Look, it's uh, this at this point. Kale is ready. But it's nice uh, and soft. And we are ready to serve. This is a really great way to prepare your meal ahead of time on the weekend. If you have more time and you're staying home, I don't know, watching TV or doing other things, when, while well, this is cooking, so it's pretty much not much of an effort. But this soup will stay in the fridge for a week at least without freezing. And you can enjoy it on the go very quickly. And it's extremely healthy for you, has tons of protein, pretty low in calories. As you could see, it's mostly stock and vegetables and a little bit of fish. You can serve it with rice or noodles, whatever you like, or you can just eat it by itself. And here are more ideas for soups. And that's where I'm going to see you next.